Check this out, this is a brand new AI project from Google. It's called Alpha Earth. And this thing is like Google Maps, but on level 100. So I saw this video and I was really excited because I got to see this really amazing project uh, that studies our Earth, uses geospatial data, um, and talks about it in a pretty interesting way. Um, but there's some things that I wanted to look at in this video. So let's look forward and understand uh, exactly why this is Google Maps on level 100. It's pretty wild. Now think of Alpha Earth like an open platform for studying the planet. It has access to any environmental data you could imagine. Climate, weather, agriculture, everything. So that's true. It, it has tons of data in it. It takes lots of different data from different sensors. Uh, I believe it takes like everything from LIDAR to satellite imagery to climate data and kind of compresses it into this uh, 64 different encodings, right? It's a uh, embedding space that, you know, kind of encodes all this different information about the earth. We don't know exactly what each thing means. We don't know that, you know, number 17 is about crops or number 25 is about uh, rain. So we don't know that, but it takes lots of data. And what's really interesting, it takes multiple sensors and multiple granularities of data and compresses it into this 10 meter space. So that's what's particularly interesting. Uh, but let's keep going here. But here's why it's so powerful. Google took all the available map data and used AI to compress it into super detailed 10 by 10 meter squares. So it's like they built a virtual weather satellite that can locate any spot on Earth and deeply understand its environment. So that's true. It takes all this data and compresses it into 10 meter grids or pixels. If you're familiar with satellites, these are pictures of the Earth. So they just work like images and it compresses it into pixels and within that pixel there's instead of you know just your our red green and blue bands it's actually you know 64 different bands that represent these embeddings which are just numerical representations of all of this data that you're kind of seeing here that's compressing there so uh but the tricky part is it's not a satellite um a satellite implies that it's constantly monitoring the earth and sending this information down uh it, it's annual sort of snapshots of the view so it's like you know 2017 2018 2019 so it's not constantly scanning it gives you this like snapshot still very powerful but it's uh you know it's not doing this constant monitoring of the earth we're talking about spots as small as your living room so that's a pretty big living room think of a 10 meter by 10 meter living room that's a pretty large living room so but um, anyways. They have that much precision. Now this breakthrough has tons of amazing use cases. The data is extremely accurate at predicting weather patterns, flash flooding, and even wildfires before they happen. So that's the one that kind of stopped me in my tracks.